What's up guys? So today we are at the Pinball Hall of Fame, right there. And yeah, it's one of those kind of free attractions you can go to. Uh, it's kind of fun, all you have to do is spend your quarters on the games. Let's go. games here but I am more interested in more of the vintage items not necessarily the pinball machines just because I feel like it's so crazy that some of these things existed in, you know when they did like the 1920s 1930s you know you kind of expect everybody was playing with sticks and things like that but it's actually much cooler than you would think Dempsey Chaos Carpentier, 1921. This is kind of cool. You look into it and it plays kind of like a video for you. Let's give it a shot. That's pretty cool. What's that playing in? 10 FPS? 10 frames a second? I really like these games a lot better because they're so unique. Who would have imagined you had technology like this? I mean, this fight itself was in 1921. Like, who thought something like this could be possible? Because this is essentially like a... What do you call it? A first-generation television, maybe? so different. Oh, cool. No, I guess you have to go fast. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. This entire pinball machine is digital. Like, it's just one big TV. Kind of like video poker. So there's this cool little machine here. You can actually make a little coin and you can write things out on it. Cool, so the first thing you do, you put it to what you want it to spell. If you want to print it, you pull the left lever. So let's do A. Oh, you can't do emojis. And then once you're done, you pull this right lever. And then it pops out a coin. How cool is that? 
Okay, so I'm down to my last four dollars, and I figure I'd do it on this. It makes you a wax Donald Duck or a wax Pluto out of wax. It's from the 1960s, you can see it right there. But it's four dollars to play one, so I don't know which one I want to do. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do Pluto. I think that'd be fun. This is Pinocchio there. I don't know why. I'm looking at the mold. It's definitely Pluto. Let's give it a shot. Half a minute for your Walt Disney character. This thing says wait one minute, so it's probably still freaking hot. You can see him down there though, he's waiting for me. Oh, it's missing a nose though. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, it like didn't work all the way. That's still kind of cool. It's still really cool, yeah. Kind of hot. How much was it? Four bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice that it didn't work all the way, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, how fun. So I guess he came out pretty good. He doesn't have a nose, though, but... What can you expect for 1960 technology? Maybe Donald Duck would have been better. He looks a lot more easy. Because I guess the nose is a really small part, but... Hey, eh, it's okay. Yeah, that was kind of it. I know I didn't play too many of the games. Really, I mean, pinball is just <sighs> kind of pinball. But, I mean, it was pretty fun, and I do like seeing all the older games that are, you know, in there, the more vintage items. Um, I know some people would probably say, hey, you're going to the Pinball Hall of Fame, why don't you play more pinball? But yeah, that was kind of fun. It was, you know, something a little different and it is one of those free attractions where you don't have to pay to enter uh, and it's, you know, really cheap to play. So it's kind of a good, you know, just small thing to kind of walk into evening, day, whatever. See you next time.